Hey guys, it's Coop, and this is the follow-up video of a video I did about a day ago explaining what you should be able to expect from the iPhone 7 and hopefully trying to answer the question if it's worth it or not. But now after the launch, we know a lot more information about it and hopefully I can help you and me better answer the question, is it worth the upgrade? So let's get started. <laughs> So I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet. It's a lot of information to go over, and I'm not going to go over too in-depth. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll give you guys enough information to help you decide. Anyway, starting with price. The iPhone 7 is going to cost you $648 for the lowest end version, which is just the iPhone 7. Now these prices are probably for the lowest gigabyte as well. And the iPhone 7 Plus is going to cost you $769, which I think are pretty fair prices, and they're definitely less than I was expecting. So starting with the features list, probably the most important and coolest addition to the iPhone 7, at least for me, was the addition of water resistance. This is a feature I like a lot on my phone, and I'm really glad Apple did this. It does seem overdue, and I wish they would have done that with something like the iPhone 6S or even iPhone 6. But at least it's in the market for Apple now, and yeah, I think they did a really good job with that. So no worrying if you splash your iPhone with water, or even have it in your pocket if you jump in a pool. Talking about audio for a little bit, so there is no headphone jack. We expected this pretty much from the beginning of the rumors and leaks. And what that means for the iPhone 7 is that you're going to get stereo speakers. One on the top, one on the bottom, and it's just going to deliver better sound quality, which is great. Also on the box, Apple includes lightning ear pods, which is a great addition. Also, you can get Apple's wireless ear pods. To me, they look really cool, and I'm really happy they did this. I have a feeling they're going to be very expensive and probably maybe even a little overpriced. Going from audio to colors, we definitely expected some different colors with the iPhone 7. And some of what we expected came true, and some not so much. So definitely the most advertised and unexpected color was jet black which I think looks really cool. It's basically a polished down black iPhone. The only thing I want to mention about this, um, beside it looking really cool, is it's probably going to be a huge fingerprint magnet. You also can get matte black, which is cool, but not as cool as the jet black, at least to me. So there is no blue color, which is a disappointment to me, because I've been living with a blue color phone for a while now, and I've loved it the whole time. I don't know why, but I just like the color blue a lot, and that's just me. But I think a lot of people would agree with me that that is, was an inclusion that they were really liking or looking forward to. So going over the camera, the iPhone 7 regular, I guess you could call it, did get a small camera buff, but nothing major. The thing we're going to be talking about is the iPhone 7 Plus, which has the dual sensors like we were expecting. So first off, you get optical zoom. Sadly, it's only twice the zoom, but it's really nice that you get that so you can have some more clear zoom. And also a shallow depth of feel. Last feature is the 3D Touch Home button, and from what I know, it's basically going to be a pressure-sensitive home button. So I'm not sure if it's still going to click or not, or what's going on with that, but I think that'll definitely be cool, and there will definitely be some cool advantages to having that type of home button. So that's pretty much it for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. I may be doing a more in-depth review video of it uh, sometime later, but I did want to keep this video short and sweet and get it out as soon as possible. Tell me down below your opinions, and if I helped you to answer the question, um, if you should buy the iPhone 7 or not, make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe on your way out. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.